Why do we seek God? Simon the sorcerer thought he could by the gift of the Holy Spirit. And he got quite the response. His selfish motivation was revealed in his actions. Here's a way to test our motives. Do we seek to know and do God's will? Or do we hope to bend him to our will? If we desire God simply because of what we hope to gain in this life, it's time to re-examine our motives. Often the most materially wealthy are the most spiritually empty. What is real wealth if your soul is poor? The scriptures are filled with examples that reflect this verse. But I am immediately reminded of the parable of the prodigal son. What have you squandered? What profits have you pursued? More importantly, at what cost? It is clear what the cost is, the loss of your soul. The son was given everything and could do anything that he pleased. What did he choose to do? He chose to pursue temptation, thinking little of the consequences and seeking to be immediately pleased. In the end, what did he profit? Not at all, only later realizing the errors of his choices. When have you felt the most rich? When have you felt the most fulfilled? In my own experience, when we help others and seek to not profit ourselves is when we are most rewarded, most fulfilled. Learn from the lessons of Jesus. Think of the parable of the prodigal son. Seek good and pursue it with all of your heart. This is true wealth. The reward is everlasting life.